Welcome back to the Boot Tragedies, man. Today I'm gonna come with some late news. Um, obviously, linebacker Eric Wilson did sign with the Saints. Uh, he was a a free agent this this upcoming offseason. Didn't really have many many offers out there, but the Saints after the draft get another linebacker. I'm thinking this means uh, a couple things. Well, obviously, this add, adds linebacker depth. Still, Demario Davis, Pete Warner are going to be the starters, but now you're bringing a guy that was a former starter that played at a high level with Minnesota to come in, you know, and be a backup. Maybe compete for a chance to start. Like I said, you always add talent, man. If you feel like this guy is better than some of the guys you already have in, you bring in another guy. He's going to compete for a roster spot, special teams, backup role. So I do like this um, pickup, man. Just a Quick stats on him, 78 career games in the NFL, man. He's 27 years old, so he's still young, still in the prime of his career. Um, in 2020, which was his best season with Minnesota, started 15 games. He finished with 122 tackles, and on top of that, he had three sacks, eight tackles for loss, uh, nine quarterback hits, and three interceptions. Now, that's an excellent, excellent year. Um, after that season... I don't know what happened with um, him in Minnesota, but he decided to go to Philadelphia um, after that season because that's a great year. I, I would figure, you know, Minnesota wanted to bring him back. They did not. He went to Philadelphia. It did not work out there. He got cut or released uh, midseason. Then he picked up with the Texans after that, and then now he's found his way to the Saints. I do like this pickup because I do think we need a linebacker depth, even if it's only for mini camp, training camp. Uh, those linebacker positions did need some competition there, so bringing him in is going to be good. I'm definitely going to try to find some film on him from 2020. If it's out there, I can definitely find last year pretty easily, but the 2020 year, he was really, really good, so I'll try to find that, but I'm sure I can find some games with the Eagles. Uh, and I'll definitely have a film breakdown on him. And at the linebacker position, man, Quan, this is probably it for him. He probably won't be a Saint again just because we're so, so deep at that position now. And like I said, Quan probably wanted to start. I think the reality is setting in for some of these free agents out there that those starter roles are probably not out there anymore. I mean, it's still some guys out there that can be starters, man. You got receivers like Julio Jones or whatnot that's just waiting probably for the right situation. But for the most part, man, if you're still in free agency, you're probably going to be in the backup role and you're going to have to come to grips with that and maybe sign with someone uh, or you can just wait until injury pops up. This the NFL, man. People will get hurt. So um, this, this sign that I do like, man, a lot of people told me to do a film review on him. Like I said, I will do that um, eventually, probably, you know, sometime early next week or probably this weekend sometime but man i'm finna get up out of here and guess what i'm going to do i'm going to watch some eric wilson film let's see what he got man i'll definitely be back with y'all soon and as always man hey if you have not subscribed to the channel please click that subscribe button man we trying to hit 5,000 on the channel honestly didn't expect to get here so quickly but hey we're here now but man i'm not gonna waste y'all time any much longer man as always this the boot tragedies and i'm out